A moving rod with a length of 0.5 meters slides to the right at a speed of 2 meters per second in the presence of a magnetic field of 5 tesla. The metal rails are connected to a 10 ohm resistor. Calculate the induced EMF in this circuit. So let's start with this formula. The induced EMF is equal to the change in the flux divided by the change in time. Now there's supposed to be a negative sign and an n in the equation. Now we only have a single loop, so n is really 1. Now as the rod moves to the right, the magnetic field is not changing. However, the enclosed area does change. It increases by delta A. So the flux is going to be B times the change in the area times cosine theta. However, theta, which is between the normal line of the face of the coil and the magnetic field, those two are basically parallel to each other. So that's 0 degrees. Cosine of 0 is 1. So then divided by the change in time. So let's say this is the face of the coil, and this is the normal line, which is perpendicular to the face of the coil. The magnetic field is going straight into the page. And so it's parallel to the normal line. So the angle between the normal line and the magnetic field is 0 degrees. And so cosine of 0 is 1. So we don't need the cosine term right now. So what is the area in this case? What's the change in area? Well, the area is going to be the product of the length of the rod, which is L, and the distance that the rod moves, which is delta x. It moves from this location to this location. And delta x, the horizontal displacement, is equal to the horizontal velocity multiplied by the change in time, or d equals vt. Perhaps you remember it that way. So the area is the length times the width. So it's L times delta x. And delta x is the velocity times the change in time. So we could cancel delta t. So the induced EMF, if you don't worry about the negative sign, gives us this equation. It's the magnetic field times the length of the rod times the speed at which the rod is moving. Now I need to modify this circuit. I need to put this resistor on this side so there's no short circuit. So there's only one path for the current to flow. Now let's go ahead and calculate the induced EMF. So it's going to be the strength of the magnetic field, which is 5 tesla, times the length of the rod, which is 0.5 meters. And then the speed is 2 meters per second. A half times 2 is 1, and 1 times 5 is 5. So the induced EMF in this example is going to be 5 volts. So now we could calculate the current flowing in a circuit, which is going to be the induced EMF divided by the resistance. So the induced EMF is 5 volts. The resistance is 10 ohms. So 5 divided by 10, that's 0.5 amps, which is 500 milliamps if you multiply it by 1,000. So that's the current that's flowing in a circuit. Now let's calculate the electric field in a rod. Somehow I skipped that. I went straight to part C. So let's go back to part B. Determined electric field in the rod. Electric field is basically the voltage divided by the distance where the voltage acts. So let's say if the induced EMF across the rod is 5 volts. So to calculate the electric field in that rod, we need to take the voltage across those two points, or let's say this is point A, point B, that's the induced EMF divided by the length of the rod. And so it's going to be 5 volts divided by 0.5 meters. 
So 5 divided by 0.5 is 10. So the electric field across the rod is 10 volts per meter. Now what about part D? How much energy is dissipated by the resistor after 5 seconds? So how can we find that answer? Energy is equal to power multiplied by time. And the power dissipated by the resistor, you can use I squared R, you could use VI. I'm going to use this, voltage times current multiplied by the time. So the voltage across the resistor is basically the EMF of the conductor. So it's the induced EMF, which is 5 volts. The current flowing through the resistor is 0.5 amps. And the time is 5 seconds, based on what was given to us there. So 5 times 0 0.5 is 2.5, times another 5 is 12.5. So in those 5 seconds, 12.5 joules of energy has been consumed by the resistor. Now let's work on the next part. How much force is needed to pull the rod to the right? How can we find the answer to that question? Well, we know that work is equal to force times displacement. So the force is the work divided by the displacement. Now the displacement of the rod is basically delta x. That's how far it moved in the x direction. Now we don't know the value, but we do know how much work was done in 5 seconds. If the resistor absorbed 12.5 joules of energy in 5 seconds, that energy came from the force that pulls the rod to the right. And so the work done by the force represents the transfer of energy that went to the resistor. So we have the work done by the force. It's 12.5 joules. It's equal to the energy dissipated by the resistor, assuming we have an ideal situation and no heat energy was lost due to friction or anything like that. So the work represents the transfer of energy that was converted from mechanical energy into electrical energy, which was eventually heat energy dissipated by the resistor. The displacement is the change in x. Now the change in energy is basically equal to this. It's the voltage, which is the induced EMF, times the current that flows in a circuit, multiplied by the time. Now the displacement, we said d is equal to vt. So it's the velocity multiplied by the change in time. So we could cancel the time. Looks like that is not important in this case. Now the induced EMF is equal to blv. And we still have the current, and we have the velocity in the bottom, which we could cancel. So we get this equation. The force is simply equal to ILB. Now we've seen that equation. That's like the magnetic force that is exerted on a wire with a current flowing through it. So it turns out that the applied force that we need has to go against the magnetic force that is produced in a situation. Because as soon as the current flows through a conductor and there's a, a magnetic field um, in this uh, basically coil of wire or in this uh, moving conductor. So since we have a moving conductor with a current flowing through it and it's exposed to a magnetic field, that magnetic field is going to exert a magnetic force. And we need to apply a force that is equal to or greater than that magnetic force to get the rod to move. So the force that we need to apply, which equals the magnetic force, that's equal to the current flowing through the circuit, which I forgot what that was. What was it again? I believe it was 0.5 amps. And the length of the wire is 0.5 as well. And the magnetic field is 5. So 0.5 times 0.5 times 5. It's a lot of 5s. And so the force that we need is 1.25 newtons. And so that should be the answer. If we calculate delta x, that's going to be the velocity, which is 2 meters per second, 
multiplied by a time of 5 seconds. So the displacement is 10 meters. So if we use this equation, where the force is the work, that's 12.5 joules, divided by a displacement of 10 meters, that will give us the same answer of 1.25 newtons. So that's the force that we need to pull the rod to the right.